You know, Caldwell, sometimes being in hell just sort of reminds me of being back in New York City, you know? Oh, yeah. It's hot and it smells like piss. Yeah, what about the rats, though? The rats, about the same size. Uh-huh. I do like that they all wear top hats and little bow ties down here, though. Yeah. All right, all right. Enough yik yakking, snippity bapping, flapping your gums, you Whoa. know, just barking out your sound holes. <laughs> That's what we do. Yep. Now, we got a cartoon, and we immediately knew as soon as we saw it that you, uh, uh, what's the word? Filthy weebs are the ones to <laughs> make it come to fruition. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm what I am. This comes from one of our nerdier demons. Uh, you know, he hangs out in the basement, kind of just sorts through hell's back issues mostly. <laughs> but uh, he had a good idea with this one. Guy in Yellow writes... Please, please, please draw big booty kaiju fighting monsters. Oh my god. Wow. Do you think he like had the idea already for the show title? Like it's like a, a rockin' soundtrack, like big booty kaiju fighting monsters. Yeah, so catchy. I love it. I can see that just kind of like all star studded and that nice eighties thick chunky animation. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean I'm flush with inspiration uh <laughs> on this idea already. So I'm just gonna get us started here using the bean method. Sure. And just really thicken up this bottom. God, I love that foreshortened bean butt that you've drawn here. Obviously these monsters, they fight using their butts, right? Yeah. They're butt bumping, I would say. Yeah. I wonder how much is them fighting and how much is them being misunderstood by mankind because their big old butt keeps knocking into skyscrapers. Oh, I see. So, like, maybe they're just clumsy. Yeah, and maybe there's, like, a scientist mm -hmm. uh, that finds out that they're just misunderstood creatures with big old butts, with big old honking behinds. Yeah. And maybe, eventually, that scientist helps them find a big wildlife preserve where everyone can go and just enjoy their big huge booties they're big rumpuses yeah yeah a rumpus room it's big dump trucks <laughs> could we include a scene in which internet fan artists get a look at the monsters and are just like oh damn someone did our work for us <laughs> we have nothing to add <laughs> Good job. They cry and weep, gnash their teeth, and just throw their cintiques into the river. There's nothing they can do. I cannot add any thickness. <laughs> what is my life? Goodness, Nathan. I'm trying. Yeah. Normally, kaiju have tails, but like tail is also sort of a colloquial term for a butt, right? I like to think that the butt is so thick, the tail is just fully engulfed. Okay, so there's like, maybe you see just a little bit sticking out. <laughs> yeah. Now, what are you thinking for this head, Nathan? Should I carry the butt motif into the head? I think that like cheeks could play a factor across the board. Okay, because I'm worried, Caldwell, mm -hmm. when you draw just like a body with a large butt, you're already sort of entering penis territory. Yeah. Wait, who told you guys about penis territory? <laughs> you're not supposed to know about that zone yet. It's not on any of the maps, but we've heard legend. So if you cleft the head, mm -hmm. you really just, so like, let me just show you. So like, you draw a butt up here. I've just drawn a penis with arms at least. <laughs> well, if we can't be anatomically correct, let's at least be funny. Maybe it's just a very tiny head. Okay. It's almost like a little tiny head emerging out of the butt. Let me just shrink this entire torso. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that, just mounted. <laughs> It's like this kaiju got swallowed up by an enormous Thanksgiving turkey. Yes, and then the head's gonna be even smaller. Mm -hmm, I think so. I love this fighting pose though. I guess they are supposed to be fighting. Yeah. Guy in yellow said, please, please, please. God, I really just want you to put some mom jeans on this thing. There we go. Here it is. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. I don't know who's making these jeans. The Japanese government swore that they would create a waste so high that it could contain the uh, nuclear atrocity that they had created. Everyone was just getting too horny from this monster, so they just had to slap some jeans on it just to, like, give everyone a big collective ice bath. <laughs> Maybe, like, a tasteful blouse as well. <laughs> Yeah, from like, you know, probably from like Nordstrom Rack. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you've created Mamra or some <laughs> kind of like. This is a Mamthra. <laughs> Yeah. We've still got this face to contend with. Yeah, well, now I think we want to lean into this sort of mom aesthetic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think 
maybe like a bob. Oh yeah. So is this some sort of toxic mom? Maybe it's an irradiated mom. Momzilla. Uh huh. We got momzilla. We got momthra. Mom momra or momra. Yeah, because you just to, to make a kaiju name, you just sort of add a sound at the end of an. Yeah, existing you just thing. slap on some vowels. Yeah. Maybe momra was heating up some uh, pizza rolls for Tyler. Uh huh. And uh, maybe there was like a radioactive blast in the microwave, and she transformed into momra. The kaiju, who cares? <laughs> and like, I think that's the thing is that she's definitely misunderstood. She's just out here trying to make sure that everyone's getting enough vitamins. <laughs> she like leans into office buildings and is like, does anyone need juice? <laughs> is everybody hydrated? <laughs> and like, yeah, she goes from building to building and peers in the windows and is like, that's enough Nintendo. <laughs> and then the kid's like, ah, oh, Mamra, it's Sony. It's a PlayStation. You know what I meant? <laughs> And then she does destroy the building with her acid breath. Uh, traditionally, you know, there's kind of this uh, push and pull between the kaiju's role mm -hmm. in the story. You know, initially, they're these, like, uh, unstoppable natural forces, you know, kind of allegories. And then later, they become kind of heroic figures and friends of children. Yeah. So we've reached this stage where, like, Mamra is just making sure that everyone gets some outside time. <laughs> Mamra has arose from the depths to nag the children of Earth because the PSATs are coming up and they have not studied at all. <laughs> oh, Nathan, I'm so glad you took your time on this face because this is like you've somehow managed to capture I need to speak to your manager within a turtle monster. Also, maybe a turtle shell? That could have a butt on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like one of them little shells. Like a sun hat turtle shell? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Like a little beanie. Yes. Mamra. In order to summon her, you must play an entire Carly Simon album. <laughs> She's coming to unleash her final attack, <laughs> sending you an article from Forbes. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you would get a kick out of this. <laughs> she sends it using like the Yahoo News app, but it, yep. like, it won't open unless you get the app. So you just have to like recopy the link and paste it into your browser. She keeps attacking the power lines and the radio station grid. And everyone's like, what is she doing? And then it's revealed that she is just trying to send a text. She just doesn't quite understand how it works. <laughs> oh, thank you for getting that booty action in there. Yeah, we just want to make sure that like she is causing major destruction to the, yeah. to the city. All right, Nathan, I've got a great sense of mom raw here, but we need a challenger. Well, uh, get... <laughs> Get in here. Yes, I will. Okay, Nathan, I feel like you've captured the kind of classic, you know, Japanese rubber suit monster, but I feel like I need to take it in more of like a, a Guillermo del Toro direction. We're starting with cheeks. I like that. Yeah, cheeks within cheeks, kind of like a Lovecraftian, uh, I would say the crack of madness, if you will. Oh, okay. So like the cheeks open up and there's just more butts inside. Yes, yes. I think that's exactly what's happening here. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Hey, Nathan, you know what my favorite part about hell is? What? All the cursing you can do. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. every time I curse on YouTube, a tiny little buzzard comes and just like pecks my butt. Oh, the curse buzzard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I say a f or a sh or a he comes and he gives me a little peck and I hate it. So I hate to break it to you guys, but we're going to have to cut off the episode. So if you want to watch the rest of it, you're going to have to sign up for Dropout. <laughs> Ow. Yep. Oh, yep. Tip him a dick. You got me. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.